Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 12th Angular Jest tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about ng show and ng hide. Wow! Okay then guys, so in the last tutorial we made this header right here and we included it using ng include so it shows over here. However, this bit down here still looks a bit crappy, so before we get started with the ng show and hide, I just want to neaten it up a little bit. All I'm going to do is add a div here with a class equal to content, and this class is going to be applying styles to this stuff down here using this style sheet right here in our project folder. Now remember, you can get this from my GitHub page, which I'll leave the link to down below. Okay, so we've got that div right there. Let's enclose all the Ninja controller with it, like so. And that will do, save that. And now it's gonna look automatically a lot better. Incidentally, I also added this placeholder to the input right here so that people know to search for ninjas like that. Okay, so ng show and ng hide. They are two directives which are really cool. And we can use them to either show or hide data dependent on certain conditions, okay? So to explain this, I'm gonna jump over to our application code here in the controller and I'm going to add some new properties to these Ninja objects. And it's just going to be a property called available. Okay, I'm going to set this to true or false, depending on whether this Ninja is available for work or not. So let's just copy this for now, available true, and come down here and apply it to each one like that. Remember your commas on the end of the previous property, we need to put those in, and uh, click save. So now they're all true, but let's set one of them to false like that, okay, so Ryu is not available for work because he's out sunning it somewhere being a lazy sod. So, now I only want to show the ninjas on this list who are available for work, and we can use ng show to do that. So all we need to do is add this ng show directive to the element that we want to show based on a certain condition. So we'll add it to this li list right here, right, because each one of these is an li. So let's say ng show and set that equal to something. Now, the way this works is, whatever this is equal to, if this is true, then it will show the element. If ng show is equal to false, then it won't show the element. And we can demonstrate that by just putting in true, like that. And this is gonna show them all, okay? If we set this equal to false, then it's not gonna show any of them, okay? So instead of that, let's go into the property in our data right here and grab that because that's what we want to check. We want to check whether they are available or not. And we just need to write ninja dot available. Okay, because we need to use ninja because that's what we're saying each item is. It's a ninja in the array. Okay, so let's save that now. And we should see three of them appear, Yoshi, Sean and Crystal. And that's because Ryu is false. Okay, if we change another one, say Crystal to false, then that should disappear as well. Okay, so that's really cool. And even if we search for Ryu, now nothing comes up, okay? Only the ninjas that are available for work show. This is really cool. On the flip side, if we put an exclamation mark in front of that, because this right here currently is gonna evaluate true, okay, for ninja available for some things, the things that are true will now turn to false, okay? And the things that are false will now turn to true. This kind of is the negation operator, if you like. It reverses what is currently uh, showing. So now, instead of those that are available showing, those that are not available will show instead. So let's save that, and you can see Ryu and Crystal show. That's all by just putting this little exclamation mark in front of this here, okay? Now, there's an easier way to show the people that are um, not available, and that's by using ng hide. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And now only the people that are available are showing, Yoshi and Sean. But if we change this to ng hide, then what we're gonna say is, look, anything that's true here, hide instead of show. So we're hiding anything that is available, right? So let's save that now, and it's gonna hide the Sean and Yoshi ninjas and show the other two. And that's because it's true for Yoshi and Sean and it's hiding anything which evaluates to true, okay? So this is really cool. I'm gonna change this back to ng show because obviously we wanna show the people that are available and not those that are not available, all right? 
So guys, that is NG Show and NG Hide. Really cool directives and dead simple to use. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.